And the ark of the Lord was was in the country of the Philistines seven months. And the Philistines called for the priest and the diviner, saying, What shall we do to the ark of the Lord? Tell us therewith. Tell us wherewith we shall send it to his place. And they said, If you send away the ark of the God of Israel, send it not empty, but in any wise return him a trespass offering. Then ye shall be healed, and it shall be known to you why his hand is not removed from you. Then said they, what shall be the trespass offering, which we shall return to him? They answered, Five golden emeralds and five golden mice, according to the number of the lords of the Philistines. For one plague was on you all, and on your lords. Wherefore ye shall make images of your emeralds, and images of your mice that mar the land. And ye shall give glory unto the God of Israel. Peradventure he will lighten his hand off from, you, from, like lighten his hand from off you, and from off your gods. And from off your land. Wherefore then do ye harden your hearts, as the Egyptians and Pharaoh hardened their hearts, when he had wrought wonderfully among them? Did they not let the people go, and they departed? Now therefore make a new cart, and take two milk kine, on which there hath come no yoke, and tie the kine to the cart, and bring their calves home from them, and take the ark of the Lord, and lay it upon the cart, and put the jewels of gold which ye returned from him, return him for a trespass offering and a coffer by the side thereof, and send it away, that it may go. And see, if it goeth up by the way of his own coast to Beth Shemesh, then he hath done us this great evil. But if not, then we shall know that it is not it is not his hand that smote us, it was a chance that happened to us. And the men did so, and took two milk kine, and tied them to the cart, and shut up their calves at home. And they laid the ark of the Lord upon the cart, and the coffer with the mice of gold, and the images of their emeralds. And the kind took the straight way to the way of Beth Shemesh, and went along the highway, lowing as they went, and turned not aside to the right hand or to the left. And the lords of the Philistines went after them under the border of Beth Shemesh, and they of Beth Shemesh were reaping their wheat harvest in the valley. And they lifted up their eyes, and saw the ark, and rejoiced to see it. And the cart came into the field of Joshua, a Beth Shemite, and stood there, where there was a great stone, and they clave the wood of the cart, and offered the kind a burnt offering unto the Lord. And the Levites took down the ark of the Lord, and the coffer there that was with it, wherein the jewels of gold were, and put them on the great stone. And the men of Beth Shemesh offered burnt offerings, and sacrificed sacrifices the same day unto the Lord. And when the five lords of the Philistines had seen it, they returned to Ekron the same day. And these are the golden emeralds which the Philistines returned for a trespass offering unto the Lord. For Ashdod one, for Gaza one, for Ashkelon one, for Gath one, for Ekron one, and the golden mice, according to the number of all the cities of the Philistines belonging to the five lords, both of fenced cities and of country villages, even under the great stone of Abel, whereon they set down the ark of the Lord, which which stone remaineth unto this day in the field of Joshua, the Beth Shemite. And he smote the men of Beth Shemesh, because they had looked into the ark of the Lord, even he smote of the people fifty thousand and threescore and ten men, and the people lamented, because the Lord had smitten many of the people with a great slaughter. And the men of Beth Shemesh said, Who is able to stand before this holy Lord God, and to whom shall he go up from us? And they sent messengers to the inhabitants of kirjath Jerum, saying, The Philistines have brought again the ark of the Lord. Come ye down, and fetch it up to you.